welcome back. Horses, Hollywood, and history. All those things combined for an exhibit at the American Saddlebred Museum out at the Kentucky Horse Park. And here to tell us more about it, we welcome Cindy Rolman. Thank you for being with us today. Well, I always appreciate being here, so thank you. This really sounds like a neat exhibit. I think it's going to be so much fun. Um, the, the American Saddlebred Museum has a lot of memorabilia um, from really throughout the, the history of, of the country almost of um, celebrities who owned saddlebreds, um, prominent people in history like FDR with, with his American saddlebred, um, people like uh, boxers, um, George Foreman, um, Joe Lewis, uh, Clark Gable, uh, you know, so it's uh, people from the silver screen and, as I mentioned, people who are prominent in history who have owned, owned saddlebreds, so it's going to be fun. And I think it's interesting that uh, these days we tend to be occupied with some of the pastimes that are not so good that celebrities <laughs> may have, but to <laughs> see um, from uh, other generations how uh, that horses became a hobby for um, some of the great folks uh, who became history for all kinds of reasons. And we have an example of uh, some of the There's, photos that are included. Uh -huh, that's FDR uh -huh. competing in a horse show on his saddlebred. Um, that is, the, remember there was a TV series um, called Fury? And that, that is Fury. Fury was actually wow. a saddlebred. Um, my friend Flicka, that mm -hmm. horse was a saddlebred. Uh, there's Joe Lewis with, with his saddlebreds that he owned and trained. Uh, so uh, lots of great photos. And the thing that I think is pretty interesting too, the American saddlebred is the only breed of horse that was actually developed in the state of Kentucky. Wow. So it's very important, you know, to Kentucky's history, but it's also very important to our country's history because, for instance, during the Civil War, both uh, generals Lee and Grant chose the American saddlebred as their mount, as did a lot of other officers um, and soldiers during the Civil War. And these horses fought and, and lost their lives in the Civil War right alongside the soldiers who were fighting for our country. So not only is this a really beautiful horse um, that we enjoy seeing now, um, but, but that horse has contributed a lot to our country. And so I think this is a nice way to honor them. And we want to give you the details on the exhibit. It actually uh, starts uh, this it weekend. Opens, yes, it opens today and will be open through the end of the year. And one nice thing, too, is that um, it's included with Kentucky Horse Park admission. So you can come out and enjoy live horses and go over to the Saddlebred Museum and enjoy this really fun exhibit. And we were showing you some of the uh, older photographs. We also have, uh, we were uh, enjoying some of the uh, newer ones with celebrities. Uh, from uh, this uh, this day, um, William Shatner, of course, is known uh, a lot in this area. You mm -hmm. see him and his wife there um, for their uh, their um, work in the industry with horses. Yes, and, and, sort of and also Carson Kressley. And uh, both William Shatner and Carson Kressley will be at the horse park this evening for a private opening mm -hmm. of the show because they're they're going to be involved uh, in the exhibit. And this was my favorite. This is George Foreman and, um, <laughs> on his saddlebred. I mean, he just he looks like a, a kid uh, at a birthday party having He's a great having time on the horse. horse. <laughs> 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 Nate, so uh, and you were telling me that this is the only place that you can see this exhibit is uh, is here right here in Lexington. Yes, this exhibit was developed by the American Saddlebred Museum. So this is this is a, a an exclusive exhibit. This is the only place that you'll be able to see it. And, um, you know, with this great weather, it's a good excuse to come out to the horse park and, um, you know, take a walk around and, uh, and then enjoy the great exhibit and, and these wonderful old photos and learn something about a horse that um, is very important to our state. Well, very neat. Again, there's the details. If you're interested in seeing the exhibit, you can uh, see it now through the rest of the year. So uh, good chance to get out there. And if you'd like to learn more, you see the phone number and website there at the bottom of your screen. Thank you, Cindy. For Thank you. With us. We'll be right back with the last check of your forecast.